Hey, hey, everybody, happy spring. Doesn't look like it. I've got my little quilted vest on, but I'm supposed to get up into the 60s today. So super quick, hopping in to share a tip. If you use Go High Level, Funnel Gorgeous, any of those white labeled programs, so stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a reoccurring product, but you want to give them a trial period. Um, and maybe you want to, you know, charge a little bit up front because, you know, they say no skin in the game, then people aren't invested. So follow along with me. I'm going to show you how to set that up. So I will uh, share my screen here and we'll just hop into, let me put this on here. All right, so I'm going to hop in to my uh, Go High Level account. And if you're not using some kind of a marketing uh, platform, just gonna do a little plug here. Uh, this is the best and I can hook you up, so get you started. So over here on the left, as of this recording, this is where you find everything. And you wanna go to payments and then up at the top, go to products and create a new product. Now I've already created it because I figured you don't wanna see me typing the whole time, right? And so uh, it's fun to put little icons over here that helps you find your products quickly. And here is my product that I just created. So I'm going to click on it so you can see how I did it. Another quick little tip. I'm all about emojis. Let's add a little fun. But more importantly, again, if you have dozens of products, it's just easy to find things. So I've given it a name here. Sometimes I will put the price even up here in the name. Uh, it just helps me kind of sort things. So if I if I have similar products, um, I might do that. All right. And then you can write a uh, little uh, description here uh, if you want to do that. This is where I clicked to upload my little icon. And then down here, this is the juice of it. So pay attention. This is where we set up the pricing. So the first thing is, is it a one time or a reoccurring? Reoccurring means every single month they get charged that amount. What am I charging them? $127. Uh, compare at, uh, sometimes it's nice to share that comparison price with your people. Then the billing period. Now you could bill people annually. So super uh, important tip there. If you give a discount uh, to your membership, for instance, and if they you know pay in full, then you would set this up <laughs> excuse me, with the yearly. But in this instance, I'm just doing a monthly. And over here to the right is the trial period. So sometimes people want to give like a 30 day trial period. Uh, interesting little tidbit, uh, some research that I found. If you give people too long of a trial period, uh, there's a higher chance of them dropping off because in the back of their mind, they're thinking, well, I've got 30 days to test this out. And then they get to the 30 days, they never tested it. And then they think, well, why am I spending the money? I'm just going to opt out. Personally, I would shorten the trial period. So I'm giving them 10 days. Now, if if this was a uh, like installment type thing and they're going to pay uh, three payments of, uh, you know, 100 bucks or something, you would put that. But this is an ongoing reoccurring payment until they want to cancel it. Now, the setup fee pay attention. If let's say you have a membership and you're going to give it to people for $5 the first month, and then after that, the price is $27, then the trial period would be 30. And then, so in other words, they won't get billed for the normal amount until 30 days. And then you just give them a setup fee of five bucks. So right off the bat, they get charged that $5. And then 30 days from now, they'll get charged the rest. Does that make sense? Let me know in the comments if you have questions on that. All right. And then uh, you just go down, you click save, 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 and you're good to go. Now, let me just hop over. I'm going to come back over here to the left to sites. And uh, here is the page. <clears throat> now, if you're brand new uh, to go high level, you go to the actual, what I call the checkout page, where people are going to enter in their details. And then over here to the right, click products. And that's where you add the product. Now I already have it there, but I'm just going to show you again. So you click add product. So you're not creating the product here. You're just adding it to this uh, sales page. Okay. And then when you do the drop down, 
the nice thing is I think this is by uh, date order. Okay. And do you see these little emojis? How, like if I'm doing something for this funnel and I use this emoji all the way through, super easy to find that. So that's a little extra tip for you there. Okay. I could also, if I had like two levels of this uh, marketing and funnel VIP support, uh, I might put the 127 level and the 197 level. Okay. Right here in that price description. I'm not going to add it because it's already there. And so there it is. And now let's hop over to a, uh, a real checkout page. So this is what we call a one-step checkout. Everything's on there. A two-step is where they enter their contact detail, they click next, and then you go to the next page. Now, why do you use a two-step? In case people get cold feet, at least you're capturing their name and their email. All right. In this instance, it... Um, doesn't really matter. So uh, now you'll notice here, I, I probably should have changed my setup price to something different because if we look closely, they're getting charged $127. And you're saying, wait a minute, I thought we'd give them 10 days free. We did, but remember, I had a setup price of $127. So a one-time fee of $127 to set this up. And then if we read the fine print, $127 setup fee with a $10 trial and $127 per month after the trial period. And that's it. Uh, good to go. This is in test mode. So uh, if, you, if you ever want to do uh, test mode, it's just all 42s all the way across. Any expiration date that's in the uh, forward, any uh, CVC code in the forward, in a zip code. Um, and then you can just go all the way through and test it out. So if you have your, if you're testing your uh, background uh, or your automations, all of that kind of stuff. All right. Is that making uh, sense? All right. Let me, uh, let me come back here. I don't even know where I'm at. <laughs> all right. So again, over here under payments, products, and then when you create that product, come down here. The key is uh, reoccurring, the monthly price. If you want a trial period, you don't have to have a setup fee, okay? So I could change this to nothing, uh, or I could change it to $10, whatever it is, um, and then you're good to go. So let me come back. So does that make sense? If you have questions, let me know uh, in the, whoops. Don't mind me. I'm just hopping all over the place. So if you have questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. And if you are fairly new on the online space and you want to get your hands on this awesome, what I call lead gen machine that is so easy to set up so that you can get leads coming in every day and turn those leads into clients, raving clients, then you should join my VIP, uh, DBA, Digital Business Academy. And the, the VIP is uh, guess what? It gives you access to the platform. The platform ranges from 97 up to 297. Uh, plus you get my support, uh, my VIP support. So if that's something of interest, we'll put the link uh, down below. And uh, hey, I'll see you in the next video. And as always, I'd love it if you gave me a little thumbs up or comment. Uh, if you hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends. I am trying to get a certain number. Uh, so maybe we'll reach if everybody shares the video. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.